Jaguar Cars Incorporated presents the Jaguar Electrical System, Part 1. Not so long ago, automotive electrical systems were quite simple. However, today's sophisticated Jaguars with numerous technical, luxury, and convenience features require a much more complex electrical system. Technicians must be familiar with these complex electrical systems to accurately diagnose and correct any fault that may occur. This first part in the electrical series will give an overview of the systems used in both the XJ6 and XJS. It will also help you use the newly published electrical guide. Jaguar electrical systems have a uniform wire color coating consisting of 11 basic colors. Note that the colors pink, brown, and blue are represented by the letters K, N, and U respectively. Additionally, the code letter L designates light, such as in light green. When a wire has two color code letters, the first indicates the main color and the second indicates the tracer color. WK is a white wire with a pink tracer. Three code letters are sometimes employed. LGU indicates a light green wire with a blue tracer. PKS indicates a purple wire with both pink and slate tracers. Wiring harness connectors have three configurations. The multi-pin and socket connectors are used in most instances. Bulkhead connectors join the main harness with the forward harness through the front bulkhead. And individual or dual snap connectors are used for connecting to components with few lead wires. Other types of connectors may be employed where interface is required to a particular component manufacturer's style of connector. These, however, are shown as a pin and socket connector on the wiring diagram. Circuit overload protection is provided by fuses and thermal breakers. Fuses are housed in one of the three fuse panels or incorporated as inline fuses in the wiring harness itself. Diodes are used in some circuits to prevent reverse current flow. These may be incorporated into the wiring harness or as separate components in the harness similar to inline fuses. Additionally, diodes in pack form are used in certain circuits for switching and controlling current flow. Resistors are used to reduce current flow to components. They are generally incorporated into the circuit the same as inline fuses. The Jaguar electrical guide was developed to help the technician locate, identify, and diagnose electrical problems by providing easier to read circuit diagrams of individual circuits. The circuit diagrams shown in the electrical guide are arranged so that systems that share a common power source or fuse or that work together are grouped in the same diagram. In general, power flows from the top to the bottom of each diagram. However, in some cases, the flow has been altered to accommodate component terminal locations. Components are shown as they appear in the vehicle when viewed from the terminal side. In most cases, internal circuitry is not shown. Power distribution starts at the battery positive terminal, which is connected to the left and right terminal posts situated on the front bulkhead. From the terminal posts, brown wires supply direct battery feeds to various components. 
white, white-pink, and white-yellow wires supply components which receive current from ignition switched feeds. All circuits, of course, are completed via ground connection to the battery negative terminal. Ground connections are made either by black wires or by component case ground. When made by a wire, a black color code is used. Wiring harness layouts are similar in the XJ6 and the XJS. The main bulkhead harness runs across the interior side of the front bulkhead and beside the drivetrain tunnel. Here, it makes connection with the rearward harness, which feeds the rear doors and terminates in the trunk. Connecting through the left and right bulkhead connectors, the forward harness branches around the engine compartment. In many cases, individual branch circuits connect components or groups of components to the main harness. The EFI harness is separate from the main harness and runs from the ECU in the trunk to the individual EFI components. It is easily identified by the braided jacket. The climate control system also has a separate circuit but connects with air conditioning components through the main harness. Ground connections are clustered at certain points along the harnesses this results in ground locations which may be remote from a component. The electrical guide shows where the ground for each component can be found. Due to certain component manufacturers' color coding, some components have integral harnesses which do not have color coding matching the Jaguar system. There are a number of relays in the Jaguar electrical system which perform a vital function. They provide remote switching of heavy electrical loads, form an integral part of particular circuitry, and allow the use of light duty controls to switch heavy loads. Jaguar uses five different types of relays which are easily identified by their shape and color. The Lucas 26RA relay is used in two versions, the 4-pin black and the 5-pin red. Terminals 85 and 86 connect the control circuit on both relays. On the 4-pin black version, terminals 3051 and 87 are contacted when the control circuit is energized. Normally, battery voltage is applied to terminal 3051. The five pin red relay has two output terminals, 87 and 87A. Terminals 3051 and 87 are contacted when the control circuit is energized and terminals 3051 and 87A are contacted when the control circuit is not energized. The Lucas 22RA relay has a different coding for its five terminals. Terminals W1 and W2 are the control circuit. Terminal C2 normally has battery voltage applied and is contacted to both C1 and C4 when the coil is energized. The Bosch Square relay has coating similar to the 26RA Lucas. Terminals 85 and 86 are the control circuit. Terminal 3051 with battery voltage applied is contacted to both 87 terminals when the coil is energized. The headlight circuit has a special relay to switch from low to high beams. Additionally, this relay has high current carrying capacity for the four high beam lamps. 
Terminal 81A is fed directly from the battery. The control circuit is completed to ground from Terminal 31B via the headlight flash switch. Battery voltage is also applied to Terminal 56 from the headlight switch. Terminal 56A supplies the high beam circuit. Terminal 56B supplies the low beam circuit. When the control circuit is energized by operating the flash switch, either the high or low beam circuit is completed. On low beams, current flows from terminal 56 to 56B. On high beams, current flows from terminal 56 to 56A with additional current supplied from terminal 81A. The circuit served by relays which are connected with a socket can be readily identified by the color of the socket. The reference card lists this color identification for both the XJ6 and the XJS. Now, let's briefly look at component locations in both cars, starting with the XJ6. We'll look at the vehicle in three sections, engine compartment, passenger area, and trunk. Two component panels are mounted under the instruments and the glove box. The left panel contains the main fuse panel and other components which are detailed on the reference card. The right panel contains the auxiliary fuse panel and additional circuit components. These two are detailed on the reference card. The cruise control ECU is located under the right panel. Relays for the lock and unlock functions in the power door lock system are located in the front door posts. Lock is on the right side, unlock is on the left side. In the engine compartment, you'll find the starter relay situated at the middle of the bulkhead, seen here at the right. The other three components, starting at the left, are the EFI diode pack, pump relay, and main relay. Also in the engine compartment are the headlight fuse panel and relay on the inner left fender. The cooling fan relay at the left front corner and the horn relay at the right front corner. In the trunk, three rear bulb failure units and inline fuses are grouped on the bulkhead. Also in this area is the brake light failure unit and the trip computer interface unit. The service interval counter is situated on the left side of the bulkhead. The XJS is laid out in a similar manner as the XJ6. Left and right component panels are used with main and auxiliary fuse panels and the door lock and unlock relays are in the same location. The brake light failure unit in the XJS is mounted on the transmission tunnel under the center armrest. In the engine compartment, the starter relay and the inhibit relay are on the right inner fender toward the rear. Both the headlight fuse panel and relay are on the left inner fender the same as the XJ6. The red cooling fan relay and black horn relay are also on the left inner fender toward the front. While the diode pack for the cooling fan circuit is at the rear of the left inner fender. System components in the trunk of the XJS are mounted on either side. On the right are located the trip computer interface unit and the right rear bulb failure unit. And on the left are located the service interval counter and the left rear bulb failure unit. 
A complete listing of XJ6 and XJS components is shown on the reference card accompanying this program. The electrical guide, combining both simplified circuit diagrams and clearly illustrated drawings, is your best bet for understanding Jaguar electrical systems. When faced with an electrical problem, take the time to study the guide and fully understand how the circuit should work. Then, begin a logical diagnosis following the circuit diagram until you discover the fault. This completes the Jaguar Electrical System Part 1, another Performance Master's Service Training Program.